Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca here at the Coastal Discovery Museum and today we're going to be reading When the Tide is Low by Sheila Cole. I looked out the window one fine summer day. Then I said to my mother, please may we go to the beach today? The tide is high right now, my mother said. When the tide is low, we will go. So I waited inside and played with my toys. After a while, I asked my mother, in case she had forgotten, Mother, now can I go to the beach to play? And my mother answered, Not yet. So I said, When? When can we go? When the tide is low, my mother explained. The tide is high right now. How high is high? How long will it be? Can we go anyhow? I asked. So many questions, my mother said with a laugh. When the tide is high, the ocean comes rushing over the beach and there's nothing but water to see. Where are the sand and the rocks where we play? I asked. Under the water, my mother told me. And the crabs and the clams that live in the sand and out on the rocks? I went on. They're under the water now too, my mother said. So I went out to the yard and sat in the swing, and I rocked back and forth. I was worried that there wouldn't be any beach for me. Then my mother came out to hang the wash on the line. Mother, I asked, has the beach gone away with the sand and the rocks and the crabs and the clams? No, my mother said, coming over to me. Once every day and once every night, the water runs up on the shore and washes over the rocks and laps high on the sand. And she caught hold of the swing and pulled it back, back as high as it could be until it was over her head. Then the tide is high, high like this, said my mother to me. Then when the water is as high as it can be, it starts going down, 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 pulling back to the sea like this. And what did she do, my mother to me? She let go of the swing and she let go of me, so that I swung low, low, back down to the ground. Then the tide is low, my mother called out. But before my feet touched the ground, I was floating back up, up into the air, swinging high as could be. Now the tide is high again, called my mother to me. Oh, oh, it's getting low, I yelled as I swung back down to the ground. So you see, said my mother to me, first the tide rushes up high on the beach, and then it turns back and goes down. And if we wait until the tide is low, there will be all sorts of things to see. Will there be clams that close up with a squirt, I asked. Yes, said my mother, where the stream empties into the sea and she gave me a push so that I flew up high. Nearby will be the fiddler crabs with their claws, held up like violins. When you try to catch them, they hide in the sand. Because they're very shy, I guessed, as I swung back down. Because they're afraid that you're going to eat them, my mother explained to me. Will we climb way out on the rocks, I asked flying by. Of course, my mother said. That's where we find the shiny black mussels with long yellow beards and where the purple stone crabs crawl on their stiff legs. I'm going to catch them, I told my mother. They'll wave their claws at you, my mother warned me. I won't be scared, I said. We looked into the pools left behind by the tide. My mother promised me. Sea anemones, like little pink flowers, live here. Can we pick them? I asked. No. When you touch them, they close their tentacles into a tight fist, and you cannot pull them loose, my mother said, as she gave me a push that sent me back up, floating high over the ground. Then I'll catch the little fish that swim by, I called. 
There are small fry hiding from the bigger fish, my mother said as she caught me in her arms and I came back down. She nibbled my neck and gave me a squeeze, but I wiggled free. And I'll find a hermit crab, I told her, walking by in its, his burrowed seashell, she said. And I'll find sea snails and starfish, I went on. But don't touch the sea urchins with their pointy spines, my mother warned. Will we watch sea cucumber and a big octopus? I asked. Not if we aren't ready. The tide is low, my mother said. Then she left me to swing by myself while she hung the rest of the wash on the line. I went on swinging like the tide, up and up and then back down, down to the ground. I swung back and forth, up and down, high and low. But with no one to push, my swing slowed down, 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 until I was just rocking there, back and forth, back and forth, like a boat on the sea. And just as I was about to ask once more, what did my mother do but ask me? Are you ready? Are you ready to gather some clams and chase the crabs and climb out on the rocks where the mussels grow? Do you want to touch the sea anemones and catch little fish and see all the things there are to see? Well then, come on, let's go. The tide is low. Thank you for joining us today.